Hi guys, it's Rich here from Midwales Plumbing Heat and Supplies. Uh, today, I'm just gonna show you a little issue that I found with mixer G cylinders and intergas boilers. So on this side here, on the mixer G, the way we get it to activate the intergas boiler is with the indirect control. So I don't know if you can see that, but the indirect control input. Um, and basically it's an input and an output, but basically it goes through this relay up here. So this relay here is your indirect control relay. So what you do on the intergas boiler is you wire the grey and the black wire to the domestic hot water terminals, okay, on the boiler. Um, it's the NTC terminals. These are volt free, so nothing's gonna blow it up or anything like that. But we need to wire those two to the boiler. And then they come up here. Um, on the mix G, they go into this terminal here. So the black wire goes into this terminal here, goes up this brown wire here, up to the high limit stat, and back out and down into the common terminal of this relay. That's fine in a normal scenario, but the issue we've got is that if this high limit was to trip, we would actually bring the boiler on, which is definitely not what we want. So what we need to do is we need to make a very slight modification to the mixer G cylinder in order to get this actually how we want it to be. So this will, this will require um, a Wago, some Wagos, um, so some of these, we need some Wagos. Um, you will need to, if, you, if you've got a mixed G cylinder like this with the high limit stat up here, instead of in the white box, you'll need to change the high limit thermostat. Okay, and you'll need to change that to an ESI um, high limit stat that we sell. And then what you need to do then is reconnect these in a different orientation that when the high limit trips, that basically it's going to take the boiler it's going to turn the boiler off and turn the motorized zone valve from the boiler off because like i said the standard configuration on this cylinder and the one with the white box is that if the high limit does trip it will actually turn the boiler on which is definitely not what we want okay so i'm going to go ahead i'm just going to rewire this and then i'll explain through what we've done afterwards So what you can see is I've taken out the uh, high limit wire from here, which went through the high limit stat, and I've replaced that with a, uh, a wire that comes from here up to the, this way go. And then I've taken a wire out from this way go onto the common terminal, which is in the middle here. Okay. And then what I've done, I've wired the brown wire that was going into here into this way go as well. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one, it's a little bit tighter. Okay, so I don't know if how well you can see that. But this one here, okay, so the blue wire from the high limit stat was going um, into this one here. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, so the brown wire from the high limit was going here, the blue wire was going into here. So I've removed the blue wire from here and I've put that into this one here, okay. So now the brown wire from here comes into this one where the blue wire from the high limit came into here. Um, I've taken a new blue wire, okay, from this one here, which, where the, which is where the gray, um, the gray wire went into before and I've run the blue into there, okay. So the modification I made here, we've taken the blue off this terminal here and we've put it into here. We've taken the gray off here and we've put it into here and then we've run a new blue wire over to here. Okay. So that what, what that does, so basically we get power coming in here from the black wire onto this terminal. That goes into here, which then goes onto the common terminal. Okay, so basically it bypasses the old high limit because we don't want the high limit in the equation. We literally want to come from here onto this terminal here, but we need the high limit into this terminal here because we need the high limit in parallel okay and then we've added this way go so we've removed the gray from here put it into this way go we've removed the blue from here put it into this way go and then we've run a new blue wire into the bottom terminal here okay and then what i'm going to show you is how to wire up the high limit stat 
so that's correct so if the high limit trips it actually makes contact not breaks it because that's really important we don't want to break the contact on the high limit we want to be making the contact so you need a special high limit for that and I'll show you the details of that afterwards okay so what we've done I've wired this high limit thermostat in okay so you'll notice the earth points here the common terminals here the normally open terminal is here and the normally closed terminal is at the back over here so it normally sits up like that okay um, so what we want to do so where the other thermostat was wired from the common to the normally closed terminal we're actually going to wire it now to the normally open terminal okay so the reason we do that is because these when this high limit trips we want those contacts to make contact so they're normally open and that means they're normally not touching each other okay uh, so when this goes high limit they touch each other like that okay and then what they're going to do is the two wires going to touch that means this what this way go here and this way go here are going to basically bridge each other out okay and that is going to turn the boiler off because that's exactly what we want we want the high limit to trip we want the boiler to go off the boiler will then um, using priority hot water actually turn the motorized zone valve off to the cylinder okay so now we've got two ways of control so we've got the relay on the board here we got that operating the priority hot water via the mixer g app and then we've got the high limit here which now if it does trip it will turn off um, the boiler to stop any energy going into that cylinder okay so it's a quite a clever way of doing it we have to do it this this is the way you would do it on the intergas boiler the alpha we'd have to do something slightly different so i'll i'll mention that uh, another time but this is a way of um, ensuring that the intergas boilers um, do have a high limit trip okay um, just coincidentally I uh, just want to mention the other um, control thermostat which is here so this is exactly the same as the ESI but it has a remote high limit so this um, is required because mixed you make two cylinders they make the Telford one like this um, and they make the one at Kingspan which they use an enclosed immersion um, box and a, and a dual high limit and control stack group so we basically got to bypass the existing high limit put this high limit in this high limit here in the equation and then put that high limit in that stack pocket um, and that's the way we've got to do it because otherwise the the high limit that they use it's it doesn't work um, it, it, and there's no way of modifying it that it can work unfortunately so we have to bypass that um, so we have to take the wire off that and put it onto our one and then we have to then um, put that into a stack pocket and basically screw this to the side of the cylinder screw that to the cylinder put that into the immersion into the um, into the little pocket and off you go okay so i hope that helps if there's any questions at all about anything i've done here today please let me know um, you can contact us through the sales at mwphs.co.uk um, email or contact us on our telephone number um, and ask for our help all right, hope that helps. If you've got any problems at all, just let us know. Thanks very much for watching.